The European tourism industry employs almost 10 million people and generates over 5% of our gross domestic product, and the numbers are growing. Yet there is still work to do in the world's number one tourist destination, Europe. For example, accessibility may be a problem for those with special needs, while seasonality poses problems on a managerial level. To tackle these and many other problems, the European Parliament Tourism Task Force was created. Since last year, it has worked inside the Committee on Transport and Tourism to enhance cooperation and promote tourism. Next Tuesday, the task force will exchange its views with European Commission Vice President Antonio Tajani in a meeting of the Committee on Transport and Tourism. Creating mobility for disabled persons is the topic of a seminar hosted by Polish member of the EPP group Jan Koslowski. The seminar on Tuesday will focus on creating more choices and more jobs for people with special needs. A European disability card is also on the agenda. The keynote speaker of the seminar is Vivian Redding, European Commissioner for Justice, Fundamental Rights and Citizenship. From the year 1990, the base year of the Kyoto Protocol, the greenhouse emissions of the air traffic doubled. With this trend, it is no wonder that the European Parliament and the Council decided a few years ago to include aviation in a European emissions trading scheme. Unfortunately, the rest of the world has had difficulties following the EU. In order to have time to reach a global agreement, the European Commission has proposed a one-year stop-the-clock derogation for the aviation portion of the EU Emissions Trading System Directive. The Commission's proposal is to be voted on in the Committee on Environment, Public Health and Food Safety on Tuesday. The Parliament Rapporteur, German member of the EPP group Peter Liese, underlines that the Commission's proposal makes clear that the EU does not stand in the way of an international agreement. For more information on next week's events, please visit our website eppgroup.eu.